A very good evening. You're watching Big Bang with me, Shruti. And first up, the rains have arrived, but is the BBMP prepared to face any eventuality? Well, make no mistake, BBMP's lack of preparedness is indeed a cause of concern. The monsoon has yet to arrive completely in Bengaluru, and the BBMP's lack of preparedness is already exposed. In the past few days, rains have lashed the city, flooding low-lying areas. And motorists had a tough time reaching home with major roads being clogged. Now a few corporators are alleging that BBMP has failed to take up the desilting work of any major drains and Rajakaluways in the city for the past two years. Due to problems with tender process, primary and secondary drains in the city haven't been desilted in the past few years. If uh, the monsoon will start June, July, that officers has to take initiative in January, February, and they have to do that. We have to, we have to desilting or we have to control the dumping that garbages, and we have to avoid the sanitary water and all. We have to think. We are not thinking anything. Simply, we are call on tender. Anybody will come. He will do that anywhere he want. Where the people will raise the issues that uh, desilting has not done, they will go and they will do it. 100% desilting, they are not doing any time. Not this year, last year, before last year, anything, even future also. In a few places, we spotted desilting work being carried out inside drains, but we also noticed that the silt removed was lying by the side of the drain. The BBMP claims that it has started desilting work in a few areas in the city and will be able to manage the situation. We have desilted nearly 400 kilometers of side drains and storm water drains in the past few months. That is the reason you haven't seen any low-lying areas getting flooded in the rains. Work is currently going on at several places as well. We are prepared for the monsoon. Even if the BBMP starts the work now, it is unlikely that they will be able to finish the work before the monsoon sets in completely. And with the Met Department predicting heavy rains for the next few days, we only hope that you reach home safe when it rains in the city. Harish Upadhyay, News 9, Bengaluru. Two days ago, there was a lot of commotion at High Grounds Police Station after five rich and influential youth allegedly threatened cops with their political connections after being pulled up for violating traffic rules. News 9 has exclusive access to the CCTV footage of the incident, which has helped gain some insight into the case. High-end cars. <laughs> Short limit on temper. <laughs> Highly influential and well, questionable contacts. What led to the drama on Sunday evening? What happened on Racecourse Road? News 9 has exclusive access to footage of the incident. Just two days ago, these five people gave the high grounds police a tough time with some high drama. And today, we have exclusive visuals of the incident that has brought much more clarity on the case. Well, here is what happened just before 6 p.m. on Sunday. Five youth, seated in three high-end sports cars, tried to give the cops a slip after being pulled up for over-speeding. And they thought they could hide in the five-star hotel and stay there till the cops gave up searching. CCTV cameras installed inside the hotel also recorded them entering it but the five who thought they had successfully evaded the cops couldn't have been more wrong about 55 minutes later the cops located the five and took them to the high grounds police station these are visuals of them following the traffic police and it was at the station that the galata between them and the cops ensued 
You might recall that this man, Kaushik, here claimed to be the grandson of former Chief Minister S.M. Krishna. And his friend Aditya Reddy had claimed to be a close relative of a cabinet minister. Kaushik is a relative of S.M. Krishna. Aditya Reddy is related to Minister Ramalinga Reddy. Well, even SMK himself had refuted these allegations the same day itself. But as it turns out, Kaushik is actually a distant relative of the former chief minister. And sure enough, even Aditya is a distant relative of Ramalinga Reddy. Despite high tension, the high grounds police had charged the five with six violations and had slapped a fine of 2,700 rupees on them. Now, as it turns out, their political clout is causing trouble of sorts for the cops who were just doing their duty that evening. Rumours are rife that there is a possibility that Inspector Srinivas may be transferred soon. If this is true, then our rich people with political clout mightier than the law in our state. We spoke to the father of one of the accused and this is what he had to say. We are into enormous. Like a common man, I just don't want him to have this kind of quarrel with police uh, who are doing their, this thing. And I've decided to sell the car. All right, that's very nice of you, sir, to uh, be admitting uh, Kaushik's fault and apologizing from his side. Uh, anything that you would like to but say? He, say? he says I've not done any fault, only argued with him, that is my fault. He to, I, uh, questioned him. Are you him. going to be standing by Kaushik? He is now, he's, uh, mentally he's become very interesting. Even though I've not done any fault, I have been, uh, you know, fined. But then I said, is he, uh, what is your problem? Is he argued with them. He's argued with them for one hour. So I wanted to know what you argument... Agree the argument with the police is not right if you are at fault. No, because they are, see, they are stressed. Police people are stressed. And then uh, 45 lakh vehicles are there on the road. If one person on the road argues for 10 minutes, it is stressful for both. So, uh, at my age, I tell him not to argue, but at teenage, kids will behave like that. So, uh, I've to told him not to argue with anybody in future. Sir, uh, uh, finally, will you stand by Kaushik now, if at all a case is pursued no, again? Never. See, I came to apologize here that nobody stand by, you know, for speeding and doing uh, this thing, reckless driving and all. Who, which father will uh, stand by their kids? I am not... My kid I support in different ways, but if he has done an offence, they have, uh, they have, you know, what, whatever offence he has committed, he has paid for it. So, yeah, and the uh, law everybody has to follow. Thank you so much, sir, Dr. Ganesh, for speaking to us. And there you go, the father of uh, the accused, Kaushik, uh, Dr. Ganesh, uh, saying that uh, his, uh, his son is at fault. He admits it and he apologizes in behalf of him, but still says that uh, he will not stand by him if he really is convicted of abusing the cops. Now, only investigations will take its course. With camera person Balaji, this is Nabila for News 9. After petrol and diesel, it is now the time for vegetables. Prices of these commodities have hit the sky. Here's the report. Vegetables are so important for your diet, but get ready to shell out more for these important vegetables. Just take a look at the prices of some vegetables. Coriander costs 40 per bunch. Beans costs 100 rupees per kg. An onion costs 40 to 50 rupees. And peas cost about 150 rupees. Poor rainfall and low yields of crop are primarily to blame. Vegetable prices are up overall because of poor supply. Many of the vegetables are extremely expensive. I don't know how the uh, 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 average person can afford this kind of uh, uh, pricing for the uh, vegetables. So I'm sure it's going to be high for the government to, to address this issue immediately and find out some way. Anything you buy, nothing is less than 40, 40 50 rupees per kg. And uh, definitely uh, it is going to hit the purse badly. And definitely it is not that something the, the local vendors are making out of that. It is the, from the, the supply side itself is a constraint. Mm. So I think government has to find out proper mechanism and uh, do something on this to, to make uh, affordable for the general person. Experts say that prices would remain high for the coming few days. Pansi Kalappa, News 9, Bengaluru.
Our reporters faced the heat when we attempted to expose the irregularities surrounding Davanam Jewelers less than a week ago. Based on a complaint of threats issued by the owner, it is now their turn to face the consequences. On June 25th, News 9 brought to you the story of 10 people who were allegedly duped out of close to 1 crore rupees by Davanam Jewelers on Commercial Street. This was when some of our employees and reporters received repeated threatening calls to stop the news from being aired. On June 29th, our employees received a call yet again, this time from a private number 080-4141-8181 saying they'd lose their lives if they did not stop the coverage. Our channel's chief too received a similar threatening call a while later. When we had the number tracked to the owner, it led us straight to Davanam Jewelers. It was found that the owners of Davanam, Arvind and Harish, along with D.K. Shivakumar's aide, Subhash Balaji, plotted this. A complaint regarding this has been registered with Ashoknagar police, following which they have registered an FIR. The accused, which includes Energy Minister D.K. Shivakumar's right-hand man, Subhash Balaji, are currently absconding. The cops have stated that they will be arrested in the next couple of days. With Manjunath CR, Pramod for News 9, Bengaluru.